most influencers i know their mornings are so so freaking different to mine they'll wake up have avocado and um, work out cheers hey guys welcome back i'm gonna slap off my slippers yeah because i'm on the floor don't want to move my slippers this bear is to cover my belly so no one can screenshot my belly i have just basically woke up and i mean basically woke up I had to kind of tidy up my room because it's all fun and games that I can be open with you lots but it's when you start screenshotting little objects in the back that it's going to be a problem. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine as well as talking about this hair that I just got literally and just talking to you lots. I literally got my hair done like a couple days ago. A couple days ago I haven't wet it today or yesterday or after I done my hair. I don't know about you lot, but when I wake up, sometimes I just want to eat. And I'm not talking about like cereal or like little easy light stuff to eat. I'm talking about like pizza. Like right now I have pizza in my kitchen and the way it's going, I feel like I'm going to warm up my pizza quick and eat it. I don't know why I'm lying to you. I do stuff before I brush my teeth anyway. It's a bad, bad way to start your morning. Do not start your morning like this. People ask, what do I do to like keep my weight? I'm smoking on diet back now. Mm. Oh. My mornings go so far as I wake up. I try to remember to pray when I wake up. Not all the time, but I try to remember to pray. I go through my messages. Sometimes I need to see what emails I've got. And it takes me quite a bit to answer them. I won't answer them till like evening times, but I will answer the most important ones. See if any of my friends have messaged me. And I start my morning. Most influencers I know, their mornings are so, so freaking different to mine. They'll wake up, have avocado, um, work out. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Skincare routine, like, already done. Go take some pictures. That is a level I need to get to. Right now, I'm on pizza go-go. I'm fancy level. How do you not like ketchup? Mm -mm, crazy. Ketchup is nice and barbecue. It feels so bad. But so good. Cheers. I think when I woke up here, yeah, I just saw my nail on the floor. Like, I was just gonna say, like, bitch, how the fuck did you come off? Because I did not feel you come off. Like, it was literally staring at me and I was staring at it. Like, so I'm gonna go shower now. I have a shower. I normally do my skincare after my shower. Listen, my skincare is five minutes, five minutes only. It's nothing big. And my skin has improved. I feel like if you not watch my other videos, um, my skin, it, it's always been calm, but I feel like it's just glowing more. I'm just trying to find a way to remove like these black stuff. I feel like that's the only thing on my skin right now. Like I'm trying different ways, but also I don't want to try too much chemicals on my skin. I've seen like Adiola's video. Like I think she had like skin, not skin like this, but she had like these marks and her marks are going, but I'm really scared of trying like new new product i don't know how it's gonna react to my skin i tried ordinary for a good couple months that is a scam ordinary did not do anything to my skin there's nothing ordinary about it it's basic <laughs> Makes my skin dry. Next step to my skin. I wash my face with Dove soap. It makes my soft skin. My soft skin. Mm, mm, mm. It makes my skin soft. I could use a really bad soap and it'll mess up my skin. Dove bar. Really good. I love my skin. Run the tap water. Put it on my face. Like so. I use my Serva V. Is it? Fam, the way they pronounce Serva V, Serva V. 
foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin so i don't really have oily skin my skin is more or less in the middle when i do my skincare routine and stuff i don't like making too much contact with my hands and my face i try to avoid that i got these gloves from super drug they were five pounds literally just rinse my glove with hot water rub it in my skin why i don't cover my hair when i do my skincare routine is because i feel like you kind of do need to get your forehead and i feel like it's easier it's better to see what you're doing with your hair and covering it and then you might get water in your frontal i literally rub it in for like two minutes and i go ahead because i put makeup on my neck i want my face and my neck to be the same color i got this channel I think I got it from primer. So what you're doing is you're wiping off the cleanser. Really, I don't use like, my towel to wipe my face, but because my flannel is made, it's for my face, I only use it for my face. My flannel's more softer than a towel. Because you're wetting it with water, you're not really drying your face. I know I said I don't use ordinary products, which I don't. The only thing that I would get would be the oil and this toning solution, which I think is good for my face. I only use it three times a week. I don't want to put too much like acid on my face. After you cleanse it, your face, you literally use the toning acid. I just seek to make sure if my face is really clean. Sometimes you could wash your face and your face is not at all clean. And like I told you, I get my neck as well. Oh, I feel like your front will need a lot of oil on your face. Can you see that? That's after washing and cleansing and toning my face. So my face is now clean. Like it's kind of glowing in a way and I haven't even put my serum on it. So I use this baby skin serum. I even feel like even if I don't use the toning solution, mm, I do need to clean my face. I feel like even just the cleanser and this serum on your face, there'll be a mad difference. Like, guys, it's nearly finished. Like, it's nearly done. Like, I did not want to just get it and then use it for one day and then my face starts reacting. Like, I've been using this for a good month or two now. And I feel like if you watch my other videos, you can see, like, the difference in my skin. My skin is more or less glowing now. And it's all because of this serum. So I'm showing you. Get it because I need to be stuck on my forehead, my nose a bit, and my chin and my cheeks. You just kind of want to rub it in. And it smells so good. Oh my god. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This is very relaxing. That is the serum on my face. It's very light. It's not heavy. It's not sticky like it's so good on my face i also got this baby lip i won't say gloss gloss is more or less sticky on your lips and heavy i feel like this for your lips is like it's really light like it feels like vaseline that is it for my skincare routine i literally try not to do too much on my skin sometimes people's skin gets a bit like dark I feel like you lots need to remember to shave your face. Like, I shave my face at least once every week. It cleans my face and brings out my colour a bit more. But I don't need to do that today because I've literally shaved my face the other day. And that's it for my skincare routine. Very simple, very quick. You can do it in the morning. I normally do it in the morning. Sometimes I do it before I go to bed. Or I'll do it twice a day. Now, this water wave hair is from Yolissa. I normally get water wave. I feel like sometimes with like um, deep wave and loose wave, like when it fizzes up, yeah, when it dries up, it fizzes too much for my standard. And I already got a fat head. So when it fizzes up, it just, it just looks so big on my head. This is 30 inch water wave. I think the density is 150. So as soon as I got this hair, when I felt this hair, I already knew this is probably going to be my favourite curly water wave hair. I could just feel the texture and I was just like, yeah, this is going to be a bad boy wig. I have not wet this hair like three days and look at how it looks. It does, it's not clumping. You know curly hair, it clumps together. I have not brushed it. I have not wet it, even the top. And it's still doing what it needs to be done. I can put my hair behind my ear and I can walk out without having to wet or brush this hair. So I'm literally gonna wet this hair bit by bit. I didn't wet it all at once, I wet it bit by bit. So what I've done is I've mixed conditioner and water in this spray bottle and I'm literally just gonna wet it. Because it's 30, it's so long to wet. But look at that. 
this is hair that i have not brushed in three days i have not wet and the brush is just sliding through it sliding through it even better than some straight hair like come on that's me done with wetting my hair it doesn't look too wet like i don't like to overly wet my hair i like that kind of like fuzzy look i don't like it when it's wet after i finish wetting my hair i would kind of like flatten it out and hot comb it but because i'm not going anywhere today i'd rather just much wet it and mousse it i don't want to put heat on my hair if i don't have to put heat on my hair any mousse i love olive oil mousse it's like setting makeup you're setting your hair to stay like this for it to kind of like keep the curls and stuff you're setting your hair what arrogant tay does because i like watching his page he does not wet the hair like he will literally finish the mousse bottle and that makes the i think it makes the curly hair stay like that more because you're kind of like setting the whole hair with mousse but with me uh, babe mousse is expensive yeah like five pounds i have to wear the hair guys I, I know you can even see like how it is like ugh, i just i can't even talk on this hair too tough like don't expect your hair not to come out a bit like you're literally wetting it and brushing it out like a bit will come out of it curly hair is a lot like blonde it's not a lot like blonde hair but like a lot of curly hair is really nice at the beginning and then it kind of flops on you midway through when you need to go to a very important motive and it's just not cooperating longer curly hair is better and that's especially why i tend to get water wave only because it's just easier to maintain for me and it tends to not get clumped up as much as like deep wave and water wave and the texture like i prefer water wave texture just more of that natural holiday caribbean jamaican water wave look like imagine going to like a proper island with this hair that's what i thought so this hair was sent to me by your lissa i've heard a lot of things about your lissa hair before i've got it like i really wanted to try their curly hair because wiggins was if you remember my curly tutorial wiggins was a really nice place for me to get my curly hair but i have i haven't written off wiggins but i have now made your lissa my go-to curly hair first of all the frontal when i saw the frontal i was like this frontal is really nice it's really thin look like come on it was easy to do the baby hair it was easy to bleach it was easy to everything like the frontal was this is a pre-made wig already like i love pre-made wigs like, sometimes with pre-made wigs they want to act a bit stingy they don't want to put enough bundles in the hair they'll put like one bundle in the frontal but this pre like this hair is flipping full like and the fact that it's 30 inches the longer you go the less thick your hair will be but this hair for 30 inch is got the fullness that i need like it's not too full it's not too thin i feel like this is my best laid frontal like especially with curly hair the only thing i would say about your list of hair is about your list of frontal is they were a bit stinged yeah they were a bit stinged with you know it's 13 by 4 it's like 13 by 2 like it's if they were a bit stinged on the sides only on the sides so on the middle you can see it's it's going back but like on the sides they were very stinged with how they want to like how far back they want to put it which was a bit annoying this is how it would look when it kind of like dries out you don't want it to be fizzing and be hair like your outfit was not made for your hair to go to be fizzing all the way down here no and that's it today for the video i hope you lots enjoyed that like morning session with my skin routine and my hair and stuff i feel like i'm gonna start doing more of that it's a bit out of my element but i feel like i like it like it's just showing you a bit more to me you know what i'm saying but i really like it so i hope you enjoyed that video all details on this hair will be down below if you lots already know what to do make sure you please like comment and subscribe and let's get me to 50k subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you lots in my next video